from Desk of Rhymes. This is Rhymes Reimagined, where I will teach you all the possibilities of thrifting and DIY. If that sounds interesting to you, please consider hitting the subscribe button below. Subscribe costs you nothing, but it means the world to me. I'm really excited to film today's video because the sun is shining, the weather is working out in my favor to film this video. I originally planned to film it yesterday, which was like the grayest day of the week, so I'm glad I waited to film it on this beautiful Sunday with blue skies and uh, the beautiful sun shining through my window so you guys can actually see all the beautiful thrifted clothing items that I have to share with you today. In my previous video you saw all of my plant related things that I thrifted so on that thrift trip I did take some peeks a few peeks at some clothing items while I was in the thrift store because why not uh, and I was really searching for like some springy pieces even though it's Chicago and we're in our like I think the technical term for where we're at in this season is our third winter it was 40 degrees this morning so I have on a very thick sweater because we're still in this weird transitional weather phase that I absolutely hate because you never know how to dress for the day so I haven't actually styled up any of these pieces or worn um many of the pieces that I bought because it's just cold and I'm not ready to transition to the my summer wardrobe because I have two wardrobes because I'm a true Chicagoan. I have my sweater weather wardrobe and then I have my shorts and my tank tops wardrobe. So I haven't pulled that out yet. So I haven't styled any of these up, but I will probably in a future video. I just wanted to show you quickly what I got. So I'm going to start with the first piece that I got. I've been searching for like vintage denim and I got this jacket. I, I washed everything already. I just put the tags back on so I know how much it cost. Um, I paid $3.70 for this. Um, it's like a, I don't know, like a kimono style jacket. It's that like faded vintage denim, if you can see. It's definitely like probably from the, I don't know, maybe the 90s probably, I would think. But it's got these little buttons. These little buttons here. But I really like it. Can't wait to wear it because I've been desperately trying to find some vintage denim jackets. This is not what I intended. What I was obviously intending to get like one of those vintage Levi jackets, but those are really hard to come by. Um, but I'm still gonna keep searching, but I'm glad I found this one. Uh, and then one of the other tops, top pieces that I got um, is this like burnt, I don't know what the color is, like an orange neutral toned. I really like the color is what really drew me to it. So it needs to be stained. I'm not a big ironer, but I will have to iron this because I really like it and I think it was new when I bought it so it didn't indicate that it was going to be a wrinkly piece but it did end up getting really wrinkled when I washed it um, and I paid, I can never read their writing, Village Discount, they write their prices, this says three, I paid three something for this um, but it's just got these cool buttons on it and I've discovered that I really am into like these neutral colors uh, and then I did get some basics one of them I have on today it's just like a basic like spandex black tee that um, I paid it says three something but blue was 50% off so I probably paid like a dollar or something for this and then I got a cream colored tee I thought this was a little more I don't know why I thought it was shorter than it actually is I thought it was like a crop top but it's not actually but it fits really well. Uh, I did lose the price on this one, but I'm assuming that I paid probably less than $3 for this, something like that. Um, but yeah, I just always need basic stuff for like work and stuff. And also in the in-between phases where I need to layer up. So I need like basic tees and then I need to bring a sweater to work cause it's gonna be 40 degrees. When I leave in the morning, I'm maybe 80 when I come home. Who knows, Chicago is bipolar weather season. Uh, and then I also got this like peasant sleeve basic cream top. It's from Loft Outlet and it was actually new with tags. So I paid $270 for it. Um, but it's just a basic top. 
always like to have these on hand um, to go with like some of the other pieces that I thrifted. Now I did buy two of these floral print skirts. I obviously don't need two of these. I love vintage midi length skirts. So I always try to find those in the thrift store when I see them, but I didn't intend to get, I don't need two of these, but I found this one first and I, I don't typically gravitate towards like the red colors, but I like that um, fabric, that stretchy ribbing fabric. It's probably hard to see on camera, but it's just really breathable and I really like it. And I love the buttons down the front. And this one, the buttons are like fake, which is nice so that it doesn't have any, you know, peekaboos um, when you're wearing it. But I do like it, but because it's really red, I probably won't keep this one. Um, but I paid, the price tag says $5.99 and um, it was from Unique on a Monday. So I definitely paid 50% off for this. So I, prob I paid um, $3.50 for this. But I love the flowers. It's definitely summery, springy, flowy, like I like, but I think this is gonna be the one that ends up going. And then I also got this one, which I like these colors much more, and I like these flowers a lot more as well. Um, but these actually are real buttons, but that's fine. I'll still, it's wide enough. And I just really like the, the print on here. And it feels like better quality than the other one, like much more substantial. It's Sag Harbor, which I think is like a JCPenney or a Kohl's brand, something like that. But yeah, I just, I love midi length skirts because I can wear them to work. I have a pretty physical, physical job. I'm always moving and doing stuff at work. Um, I'm up all day. So I like to have, I like to be cute, but I also like to be comfortable. My coworker calls it kindergarten we dress like kindergarten teachers so i like to be kindergarten chic you know um comfortable being able to move around but also i want to be cute so um i did pay three something i don't know you tell me what you think this is because i can never read their handwriting i don't know what it is i just watch them when they punch it in and if it's an outrageous price i tell them no never mind i don't want it but it says like three something three twenty three thirty I have no idea. I never know. But blue is 50% off, so I definitely paid like a dollar something for this skirt. And I can't wait to wear it. Now this skirt, mm, I'm excited about this skirt because animal print is definitely a spring trend um, this year. I don't always follow the trends, but all the other YouTubers that I watch have been saying that animal print is definitely big. Um, and I really like this print and I really like this skirt. It is, it's a Ralph, La Ralph Lauren or yeah, it's Ralph Lauren brand. Lauren Jean Co, which apparently is a Ralph Lauren brand. Uh, and it's just like, I really like these denim skirts. It's like, it's a denim skirt. It's really stretchy. And I really liked it when I tried it on after I washed it. And I'm really excited to wear this. And this will be good with like that basic cream color top that I had. Like these will go really well together. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to, to wear this. Um, and it says, this one I can read. It says 220. I paid 220 for that. Um, but yeah, this is really cute. Can't wait to wear it. Uh, these pants, these are pants. Just some long flowy pants. I love having these in the spring and summer. Uh, they're good like when you want to dress up a little bit um, but not too much. Um, they have pockets too which I love. Uh, they're just really flowy and really comfortable like almost like pajama comfortable uh, and it says that I paid $6.49 originally priced for $6.49 which means that I paid um uh, what is that? Three twenty-five for these. I'm getting better at math, y'all. Aren't you proud? Uh, and it's just yellow. I think it's yellow. Yeah, yellow and black and a cream color. So the same thing. Like I could wear one of the basic tops, like maybe this, like little peasant top that I got, cream colored, would go cute. Um, these would go cute together. See, I did, I said I didn't style them up yet, but here I am, <laughs> styling them up. Now this skirt. 
I have some regrets because I don't really like the way that it fits. Uh, it's set, and I hate that I paid so much for this. It's it was priced at $10.99, which means that I paid $5.50 for it, um, which is kind of, you know, crazy. But I think it was, it was new, I think. There was like part of the tag was still on there. So um, it's from the loft. And I, the reason I don't like it is because it has this like scalloped edge at the bottom. And for whatever reason, it like bunches up at the bottom. I, just, I think it's the way that it's made. It's just something weird about, can you see? It's just something weird about the way that it's made. And I did not really like the way that it fit. And it also, you know, it doesn't have pockets. If it did have pockets, I'd make some concessions. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but I have a feeling that I'm not gonna keep this one, which I'm sad because I really kind of like the colors and the, the floral print. But I just don't think that I'm gonna keep this one. Um, there's just other pieces that I, that I got that I like a little bit better. But I think I'm actually gonna start a Poshmark closet um, to kind of sell some of the things that I may have got from the thrift store, but don't intend to keep, or I decided that I, you know, have worn it enough and don't want to wear it anymore, because I definitely redo my wardrobe every season. And I think that a good way to kind of open it up for other people who may want it is to sell it online. So I think I'm gonna start a Poshmark closet. And then the last piece that I got, um, I'm excited about because I think I'm gonna do, oh, I'm definitely, I don't know why I said I think, I'm definitely gonna do some flipping of these jeans. These are like some mom jeans. I'm pretty sure they're vintage. Um, I really like it. it, has an elastic in the back. And they're just really like the comfortable denim, a little bit stretchy, not too stretchy. Um, they were a little tight on me. You know, you can't try out in the thrift store, so you're kind of taking a, a, a stab in the dark with buying things in the thrift store, but they did, they fit enough, and I definitely will wear them. Um, skinny jeans are apparently out, and mom jeans are apparently in, so I wanted to kind of jump on the trend a little bit. Uh, so I did purchase my first pair of mom jeans, but uh, these pant legs will not do. I can't. I can't with these, this weird tapering at the bottom. I won't wear them as is. I would probably, if I wear them, if I keep them in their original state, I would ro definitely roll up the bottoms and not just wear them as is because it's whack. Can't do it. Um, but I have some other thoughts. Obviously, you can cut them into shorts which is a lot what people have been doing with mom jeans forever. Um, but I don't think I'm gonna do that just yet. I think I'm gonna start by um, fraying the hem at the bottom. I've seen, I think it's Madewell, the Madewell brand. They have some really cute with like some long frays hanging at the bottom. So I think I may do that. Um, so stay tuned to see what I do with these because this will not do. I can't with the pant leg. I don't mind the mom jean fit. Like I, I love high waisted jeans. I'm a plus size girl. High waisted jeans just look better. They keep you, you know, they keep everything in a, in place. Uh, I can't do any low rise. Um, so I do like that these are like high waisted. That's what I really like about mom jeans. But just the bottom, it just it's not cute it's not popping but it's enough that i can i think i can do with it to make it work and when you style it up with the whole outfit it definitely will you know make it better <laughs> so i need to try and do that so stay tuned to see what i do with these denim pants uh and then the last few things that i got is accessories i don't usually buy too many um accessories in the thrift store but um, I'm talking about jewelry, jewelry accessories. I ended up buying a bunch of earrings because I had been looking for some gold chunky like hoops and I did actually get these. I'm gonna move, move the camera closer. So I did actually get these um, from the thrift store. They're just some chunky hoops uh, and I paid, it says 220, but again, blue is 50% off. So I paid $1.10 for those. 
and then I just went crazy. I saw one and I decided to buy a bunch more um, uh, gold kind of chunky earrings. So I did get these and I really like these, the texture of these. If you can see it has like a little bit of that ribbing in it and it's like almost like a matte finish. Um, again, so 270, which means I paid 135 for these. And I just really like these. These are really chunky uh, and I'm excited to wear those. And then these are probably like my other favorites that I got with them. They're just that like hammered metal. Can you see? Be a little easier that way. It's just like some hammered metal. Uh, and these were 210, so again, I paid a dollar 10 for these. And then these I've already worn. Which ones? These are just some X, some X uh, crisscross X earrings. And these are definitely, I've seen these um, on a few of the websites, a few websites that I was looking to purchase some gold chunky earrings from. So I'm glad that I was able to pay, you know, $135 for them instead of the $59 that I was considering paying for them. Uh, and then I got these. It's just like a knot, a gold knot. Can you see that? I can't tell if you can see that. Uh, so again, two seventy. So I paid a dollar thirty-five for those, and I also got these. They're like kind of some like door knocker type kind. I don't know what, what the technical term for them is, but I thought they were kind of cool. Um, and that those were one ten, and then these are also like some little door knock ones. These were more, way more expensive. I don't know why they were so much more expensive, but I just like the lines in them. But these were three twenty, which means I paid one sixty for them. I don't know why they were so much more expensive, but they're cute. So I went ahead and got them. That's it. That's all I have today. Just wanted to do a quick little haul to show you what I got. Um, I wanted to style them up in this video, but I decided not to just because I'm not fully ready. I'm not ready to take the leap into my spring summer wardrobe yet. It's Chicago. I know what it, I know what the business is. We're in our third winter. There's going to be like another full spring probably, I think tomorrow or the next day because it's going to be like 80 degrees at some point this week. So but it's just not the reality yet. So I'm not just ready to take the leap yet. So we'll get there. Uh, anyway, that's it. If you enjoyed this video, definitely hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you can be informed each time I post a video. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.